Hello, hello, and welcome to a brand new series of Planet Coaster. Yes, we are back on it. And today we are going to start a challenge park. I've got myself a goal to get to 100 challenges completed. Um, I found myself a park on the Steam Workshop. That's nothing too drastic, nothing too crazy. Literally the same bog standard map only with a little bit of few extras. I've had a look at it. It's by someone called, I think it's Fraggy or Fraggle. I don't remember. Check them out on Steam Community on the workshop. They've got some other decent stuff on there too. Um, we're going to do medium purely because it would be nice to be able to do some detailing and stuff on this as well as we go along rather than having to worry about going in the red all the time. And I think it'd make better for a series whereas as opposed to like most episodes, we're going to spend the time just trying to make money as opposed to actually detailing a park. So anyway, without further ado, let's get crackalackin. So, as you can see, this is the little uh, waterfall I was talking about. Nice, pretty little feature here. It is a bog standard map, but I like this uh, river on the in, in running through the middle of it basically. It gives you the opportunity to potentially build bridges and maybe rides around it as well. We'll crack, al crack it along here and where is the entrance? There it is. There's the entrance coming through here basically. So I think that's quite a nice map to be honest. And oh, would you look at that? Achieve a scenery rating of 40. We've already got an achievement, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not counting it. I am not counting it because that's just a bit cheaty. So let us begin. We have got six and a half K in the bank. We've got profit challenge of monthly profit of a grand and build a coaster at least 500 meters long. Okay, so I don't think we'll be able to do a coaster instantly. But first things first, let's just get the, um, path going here. We're going to get it to swoop around this way and I'm not going to delete any trees because that costs money. So we'll just move them about and we'll have a ride near the entrance too because we don't start with much as I've already covered. We're not going to be able to do much scenery wise either because money wise it's useless at first. But once we do start making that bit of Wonga we will start doing some scenery. So, first things first, let's see what we've got available. Because we've done medium, we should have a few more rides than what we'd normally have on hard or very hard, which is crazy, by the way. Uh, okay. So, I think the highest earner is normally... Tell you what, I'm, I might just get the Ascendance. I might get Ascendance, or I'll get the Hurricane ride. There is another one that normally makes a lot of money. Uh, yeah, that's it, Wild Blue. But I, I'm not a big fan of it because it's just huge in comparison to this one. So we'll use this ride at first. It should, it should get a decent amount of people in to to want to come to the park. We'll we'll have to wait and see, see how true that is. Probably not very true, but you know I'm I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So we'll have that there, have that there. Oh, also, I do, I do need to add, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on railing because it's just, it, it's just the fencing thing we can't do at the minute and it gives it that little bit more of uh, realism in terms of, oh, they can't walk on the grass kind of thing. We'll allow this bit for now. We'll ignore that. Okay. We will make a entrance as well. Just not yet, we'll just get some people coming in to get some money rolling. Because um, we are going to keep it playing. We're going to keep the uh, the days going by. Um, we will have it going to night cycle as well. Uh, if it's difficult to see when it gets darker, let me know in the comments. And I'll make sure to change it to a day cycle constantly. As opposed to going into the darkness. So, anyway. Back to this, we're going to do a bog standard simple grid like this and straight down. Don't want to spend too much money straight away. Okay, so that's that done. We are then going to do 
I I always used to do this, okay? But as I say, it's going to change in the future when we start getting some money in and we don't have to worry about getting a profit. It is literally a case of just dealing with the uh, dealing with the uh, terrible scenery first. It's just so that we can attract more guests onto the ride and thus making them want to pay more. Making us get more money. So let's do this quickly. Doesn't take too long. There will be occasions where I will time lapse, but I don't think we'll do it on the first episode. I'm not sure. That's subject to change, of course, depending on what I end up doing. But for now, we're going to just leave it on real time. We'll see if we can get some form of challenge going or completed in the first episode. We'll see. But it's a hundred challenges we want to get to. It's going to take a while. Um, and in aspects of how we get those challenges done, because in the past, there's been a case where we've had to um <laughs> there's been hotel challenges that re repeat themselves it's just a matter of adding room and that's a challenge complete so we need to decide whether or not we count those as challenges completed or not um at the minute i'm in the frame of mind of yes because of how long it can take to do all the challenges um but we'll see as time goes by it, as i say it will change we'll, we'll just see how it goes so we'll just put these through here Okay, so that's there. I think we'll add some trees as well. Birch trees, what are they like? They're a bit too crazy. Uh, I just want smaller trees. I always love the palms, but we're in the deciduous, deciduous or however you say it. I think I said it right. We're in that theme, so it's not going to look right if we put palms everywhere. Brazil nut tree. Well, that's a bit local. Uh, ash trees, I think the ash trees are, there are smaller ones, I'm sure there were smaller ones, I guess that's the smallest one. I'll tell you what we could do, we could just use these ones. We could just use these ones. Use these. Because it saves us money. <laughs> it saves us money, we sound, like really, we sound like a really cheap owner for a park, but whatever. It is what it is. So we'll stick these in. Not too close to the ride, otherwise uh, you'll get a face full of a branch on your way up and down on that. Uh, we'll also get you guys to name these rides as well. Within reason, obviously. Uh, so quote it down on the comments what you fancy naming this ride. We'll, send it, we'll change the colour of setting as well, we don't want to keep it bog standard. We'll make it, um, let's put that one there. Put that there. Put that one to, we'll leave that one there and we'll stick that there. Again, it's a bit crazy. It's a bit random, but it's fine. It's better than it being the uh, generic. So we've got that open. Let's just check the scenery rating for that, for the Q line. Again, I can't remember. That's it. 54%, that is terrible. Okay, so we need to work a bit more on that. So maybe it might be a good idea to just get a bit of bush work in here. Let's see. These bushes, that's a bit big, but we'll use, well, you know what? it's fine. We'll stick that in there anyway, because it'll blend. How are we doing for money? Okay, we've got plenty still, that's good. Because I do want to make sure that we get some uh, restrooms and some form of food and drink, because again, that's another form of profit that we will require from the guests when they decide to come in. Way. Where the heck are they? We are open. We're not even open. That's terrible. That will help. If it was open, that would help a great deal. So, let's check this now. 66%, so it's gone up. It's gone up, slowly but surely. Uh, let's add some... Hmm, shall we add in here? Red leafy bushes. So, we'll put a bit of colour in here. Just put a bit of colour. Rather than it all being green, that that's a bad thing. That is a very noisy ride. There we go. We might add some rocks in too. Uh, is that floating? That is a floating bush. We don't want a floating bush. Another thing about this this uh, map is the terrain isn't all flat, which I like. I really do like. Ah, here we go. Here's our first couple of guests. Hopefully they'll go straight onto this. 
I do need to up the price maybe to 15. Hopefully they'll be happy with 15. Let's see what they do. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, let's put that back to 12. Oh, it's not even open. That's why. Would be good if I opened it. There we go. Cool. There we go. Let's see if that, that works out. Okay, so I need to consider that we are going to have an entrance thing here. So I'm going to just do a... A... Um, what was I going to say? That's, yeah, that's it. A standard stucco wall. I'll tell you what. They're all running into that, I wonder. Some of them aren't. I'm wondering if it's still too cheap. Looks well maintained. Uh, looks fast. Q-wise. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I'm not bothered about that. So we're going to do a quick bog standard stucco building. Stucco is pretty much the most, the easiest kind of building to build. So. What? <laughs> stucco do. Stucco. There we go. So where's the wall? Well, I'm wondering if it's worth putting that in. I think we might do that. We might do a little bit of a fancy archwork. That's how we roll, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to carry that on. Well, I, I've got an idea. I've got an idea of how we're going to carry that on. Uh, there we go. Put that across there. Excuse me. There we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Don't ask what that was in my head. Just decided to do that. Okay, so this is like going to be very, very basic. Very, very basic building at the moment. So you got to bear with it. As I said, remember, we've got to make some monies before we can spend lots of monies. So this is just a little piece of architecture that kind of gets the, uh, the ball rolling in terms of Wow, okay, that's a lot of people. Um, we might need to walk. maybe add another ride or something. I was going to add some toilets and stuff around here though. Restrooms, however you want to call them. Uh, let's go back to this building quickly so we can do that. In the meantime, I'm going to leave it as it is like that so we can uh, continue our uh, business of putting together some facility. Okay, cool. So we're going to put restrooms in there. Restroom. I'm going to put two restrooms in, but I'll just put the one in for now. Because it's going to be crazy to put a crazy amount in. Crazy to put a crazy amount in? Stupid to put a crazy amount in. At first. Okay. So, with that, beautiful. Then we can just add it to there. We will add this stuff. It looks like it's getting a little bit busy around here, so I may with path. In fact, I'll probably do that right away. Bosh, 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 bosh. There we go. Like that. This is going to look very messy at first. But this is what we've got to do. Right, let's do that queue again. There. And then we'll have to do something with this path that looks ridiculous. Do that there and there and there. Move that to there and then we could put that back to there. And hey presto. Jobs, jobs are good. Okay, cool. We will increase so that it doesn't cause a big view there. I think we may increase the width even more so as well along here. Um, so there's going to be two different types of pathway. Just to avoid any aggro that we just saw with completely going mad. So that's the first thing out of the way. Is that a queue for the lose? Wow, guys. Might as well just do that cheeky little thing right there. Yes, I am charging people to use the bathroom. 
and we will get an ATM at the... Oh, we need to research that, of course we do. Never mind. We won't bother with that at first. So, I'm wondering if we can put something right here as a way. Ride-wise, what could we put? Uh, maybe a twister? I call it twister back from the RCT days. Um, it is going to be a bit bumpier up here. But again, it's... I prefer that. I prefer doing something like this so there's actual scenery to work around and terrain to work around. It opens it up to more things. I wonder if a gentle ride might be better. Like a... a that's the grand carousel, isn't it? We could just do a mini carousel. But again, you don't really get much money for it. A free flyer? I've not got this yet in any of my parks previously. I'm wondering if it's worth doing that. Hmm. I'm not sure. I am not sure, to be honest. We may change the colour of this as well. Or completely change how it is. Because at the minute it looks gross. Uh, but as you can see, it is setting up. We are setting it up briefly into something. So that we don't have to uh, worry too much. I'll tell you what we can do around here. We can prepare ourselves for a lovely eatery. 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 Yeah, eatery. Lovely eaty. Eaty. Phone home. Lovely eating area around here. A lovely. It might not be lovely. Oh, it might. But it might be. Hmm. Get rid of the angular thing. Okay. I want it close there because look we've got a nice little stream here where we can a teeny tiny little bridge hopefully make a teeny tiny little bridge there we go and there's the music finally coming in never mind took a while to come in didn't it the uh the music <sighs> but anyway there's a little bridge there. Then. Right, okay, so there's like a... St oops. There's a starting point anyway for our park. Our crazy challenge park where we need to get to... Whoops. A hundred challenges complete. Um, move these things out of the path because uh, unless you've got some sort of planter in there, it looks silly having... In there. there we go okay cool and i'm thinking we could have some sort of eatery on this on the i was about to say the seafront on the waterfront here and then with the waterfront and some food we can have some form of ride as like a focal point as you come into the park as well so there is a point right there there is like a marker point of plan Okay, let's do this so that we've got nice big space that they come into. This is probably doing nothing. Oh, it is a bit. Sometimes it does something, sometimes it doesn't. we just got to remember that we're not going to be able to change this, which is fine. We can just remove that potentially in the future and completely change that and bring that closer so it doesn't look so ridiculous or just rotate that around. And we can go from there, really. So, how is this doing? Is this making us money? We've got 84% there, which is good. He was full. Yikes. Sorry about that. Uh, li lifetime profit is minor in the minus, but that's because we spent most of the time with it closed at first. I think in time we will make money, because last month's profit was 1,000. So, the potential monthly profit is 700, and the running costs are 400. So that should take it to at least 345, if my maths are correct. Uh, we shall see. But I think for now, we are going to leave it at that for this first episode. We're going to keep it sweet and short, or as short as we can. Short and sweet, I don't know why I said it the other way. Um, this is the beginning. This looks terrible, I know, but it's the beginning of things to come, okay? This is going to look like a lovely area. I've already got plans. Gonna have, as I said already, we're going to have a nice food area here, and have rides over there, possibly a coaster, which would be pretty cool, and another small like thrill ride, maybe a ferris wheel or something there, 
And around here we'll just have stores and what have you. This is subject to change in future as well. As I say, it's all about putting money at, you know, on the table first and profit, which we have a small profit. But I think we can put another ride on in the next episode. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to hit a like, leave a comment if you want to. Remember, we need to name this ride and we do need to name the park also. So feel free to put in some opinions, put in some ideas, and don't forget to subscribe and like, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.